Well, hello there. My name is Zach Tellender, and we are going to look at the most famous weightlifting scenes in movies or in commercials. Okay, Rocky IV. <laughs> what did those machines... None of this... <laughs> I love, it's just pure dramatic effect. It's just amazing. You got the Soviets using all the bells and whistles and then you got Rocky out there in Siberia, lifting carts. So probably the elbows should be a little bit higher, but it's not too bad. I mean, look, if, if you're doing a power clean from the floor or a power clean from the hang position, it's not that technical. When you have like a ton of control and you're just like a stronger dude, it is kind of like, it, does, it doesn't look very technical or very snappy or anything like that, but it helps with a bunch of different things. And I think people think of the power clean as, or, or power clean, jerk, power snatch, variants that athletes can do. They think of them as just too intense, too difficult to learn and too long to teach. And you, you might as well be doing a box jump or something like that. When the reality is, if you know what you're doing as a coach, you can coach these things. How heavy they can go, it depends on how strong they are before and a bunch of other things. But a good athlete will be able to learn these things in a time-efficient manner. And then if you use them throughout an entire cycle of training, they're not a problem. He's got the flames in the background. Everything is dramatic effect. Everything. <laughs> There's the steroids. Oh, sh oh, TRT clinics, like they're going to inject you in the butt, right? Because a f delt uh, injection is got to be brutal. So I don't know if there's other compounds that they inject into the delt, but that is like, <laughs> I'm sure they just couldn't show his ass, even though we'd all like to see it. Also, look, I paused in a very good position here. If you look at his power clean, look, his knees sway back. Let's watch this. I want to watch this clean from the beginning here. Okay, let's see this power clean technique. Ooh, he's got, okay. So if you look at like Yurik Vardanian, when he lifts, uh, whether it's the snatch or the clean, his knees actually flow back really hard. And he actually ends up getting really almost horizontal to the floor. So Yurik Vardanian, one of the best weightlifters of all time, and it flows back. And then he makes very gentle contact with either his thighs or his hips. Not saying that the two are remotely similar in their technical technicality. It just kind of looks similar. And he's gonna strict press here. Yeah. Sick. And so Rocky's pushing a cart with all of his trainers in it. Classic Rocky montage here. Horrible technique on the kettlebell snatch. Looks like he's trying to clean here. Let's see. This is kind of like a clean impress with the kettlebell. Oh, I can't jerk it. Can't jerk the metal weights. So, for those of you who are, I'm gonna pause it real quick. For those of you who are watching and don't really know what Olympic weightlifting is, a bunch of Olympic games, they had that. So guys were always just holding onto the bar as they brought it back down. Uh, and you know, it's just, it's even more dangerous to do something like that. So that's why you see people dropping weights. Okay, okay, what is, this is a, this is a 500 pound back squat. Yeah, dude. Throwing punches with the 60 pounders. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's not Rocky. Like, the dude's limb lengths are just completely off. And the, here's the shitty thing is like, they could have gotten a good Olympic weightlifter to be in this position. This is a horrible position. This is just a stunt double. They're like, you know, just get really low, dude, and like hold this barbell in front of your chin. That's so not Rocky. That's so not Sylvester Stallone. Okay, so now, 
Now he's got this bar in this horrible front rack. Weightlifting, when you put the bar, it's called your front rack. It stops here. There's a clean portion. You stand up, the barbell's here, and then you jerk, you bring it overhead. But this is just horrible, right? His elbows are almost behind the bar. Let's see him get it overhead. Come on, Rock. Hey! Okay, I have no idea what this is. What? Who is this? He's jacked. Who is this? Is this... Is this Ben Affleck? <laughs> is this Ben Affleck just doing straight, like, like, uh, yard strength? That's what I'm gonna call it. Yard strength. That's my new brand. Okay, so that, <laughs> that whole scene, that training montage was kind of sick. Um, all they showed him doing was just dropping the back squat because it was like it looked like 405 on there and there was no shot in hell. It's really not worth it. To be completely honest with you, if you're an actor like and you want to get jacked, all you gotta do is wear pants like Ben Affleck did and just like get like a good pump going, but like also just get really strong upper body and just keep keep training your upper body. I would say you should probably get invested in squatting to depth as just like a manly endeavor, but that's just my opinion outside of that. What? Alex, what is this? Lifting King Kong? Girls get buff and ugly when they lift weights. Like this part where the girl is just like swinging around and her hands aren't even on the right side of the her hands are uneven on the bar. Like they're literally on too far on one side. So I have never seen this. This is a trailer for a movie? Okay, here's the reality of Olympic weightlifting and why it's so difficult to show. The load changes. So certain times you have to you have to make the actor look like they're lifting something heavy. But if they're looked, lifting something heavy, then they might not have the technical prowess to lift that thing heavily, you know, that, that heavy thing. So usually they're going to use like fake plates. But if you use fake plates and you don't have good technique, it's not going to look real. It's not going to look realistic it's not going to give people the best possible picture of what weightlifting is Kristen wig just reverse curls with no other i mean okay it's it's this is this is comedy and you can't just be like you can't just be like oh this is where you draw your line on what's realistic or what's not but you know what let's be pedantic here Okay, she just, whatever this weight is, it's enough to, it's enough to break the barbell. I'm not sure if this first po portion is her, is Kristen Wiig. They use doubles all the time for stuff that, like, there's, I, I think there are some clauses in, like, um, Screen Actors Guild and stuff like that where you have to use doubles for things. And so, like, unless if you're Tom Cruise. Like the bar is just way far away from her legs and then she has to basically stop and then the bar comes into her hips and you can tell it's just incredibly lightweight but that's the point is like she has this crazy strength now that she just, she got this power. Absolutely zero hip explosion, leg use at all. It's just pure reverse curl. Fake weights. I'm calling it. Expose her. Nobody can beat them. <sighs> Oh, Great yeah. acting. <laughs> Put that discus down. You have no business out here. Let him show us, coach. Maybe there is something we could learn. Well, it's all This possible. is gold. Alex, you found gold. All right. Go ahead, show us. Thank you. Very 
very good throw for who is earthbound. Skip the wisecracks. Put your money where your mouth is. I do not have any money. This is so sick. <laughs> Does the pack flex? Mister, let's see a top ten. <laughs> Certainly. This is like an eighth grade film production. Except you have a fucking... You have Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, now, hold up. That was amazing. Alex, that... This is amazing. You're, you're killing it, dude. Uh, that's clean and jerk. Oh, I'm sorry, Monstro. Who will uh, clean and jerk barbells weighing uh, 500 pounds? Oh, yes. 500 pounds. Let's give him a... Okay, so this is supposed to be... That's supposed to be 500 pounds, and it's on a linoleum floor. <laughs> or maybe not linoleum. I don't know. It's just on, like, a random tiled floor <laughs> back in the day, though. And uh, I don't like using those terms, but literally that's that was the difference because there was a split clean and a squat clean or a split snatch or a squat snatch. And there was actually a dividing line for a little bit until everyone realized that the squatting variant of both of those was better. So you can see on this first clean... Uh, you know, he does a uh, split variation, even though it's still not technically sound. Split clean. Again, front rack is a little iffy. You're always going to... And then the split jerk. Arnold did weightlifting when he... Somebody said this before. Um, I forget where I heard it, but supposedly he did it when he was like much younger, very casually, or maybe he did a few competitions. Uh, and then he got into strength training and then bodybuilding. So that was a clean and press. You got the guys in the back watching like, yeah, we're going to make good money off of these guys. See? Okay, so now we have a 750 pound clean and jerk. 750 pounds. Well over 300 kilos. Okay, realistically though, if I want to again be pedantic, very rarely do you see someone go up more than 10 kilos. In the snatch... Usually it's f around five kilos. Some of the heavier guys, some of the stronger guys will go anywhere from five to 10. To take a 250 pound jump, that's just something else. Yeah, light up my cigar so I can watch. Clean and press. I mean, Arnold does an ass load of, I mean, he did an ass load of pressing overhead, right? So it's gonna look pretty good. Is he gonna go for two reps? 750 pound press for two. Back in the day, it's like people looked at strength and size like like you were a circus act, you know? And, and because it was almost unknown, like, being that big or strong. And that's how weightlifting was, really, back in the day. I mean, it was a spectacle to watch these freaks. Oh, he can't do it. Oh, no. M my boy, see? And now all the agents can't make their money off of the Hercules. But, 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 but what happened? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is a fucking classic. Frank Zane. Again, brutal front rack position. Pretty good lockout. No, my mind. Oh man, this is what the back room of a competition looks like. Just dudes being bros, you know. Man, look, and it takes the whole crew to to come on to to bring it off stage. <laughs> hey, look, he did it! Come here, sugar. What are we having? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Frank Zane, dude. One of the most aesthetic humans to have ever lived. Like, just a legend in bodybuilding. Of course, they would never pick an ugly-ass weightlifter. They would always pick a, a handsome bodybuilder who actually looks like they lift weights. What is this? I literally could not tell you what language this is. What? 
What is <gasps> Is that Naeem Suleimanoglu? So, for those watching, uh, Naeem Suleimanoglu, the greatest weightlifter of all time. I mean, I, I said that about Yurik. You know, it could be said about Piros. It could be said about Lasha. could be said about Naeem. Naeem has the highest Sinclair, which is... It takes into account body weight and the weight that you lift. So pound for pound, the strongest weightlifter who have ever existed, one of the most decorated weightlifters in absolute legend. He passed away, and I think this is an old uh, Naeem Suleimanoglu, and I couldn't, I couldn't tell. It is. <laughs> oh God, Alex, you legend! It's again. <laughs> it's Naeem again. <laughs> Okay, look at this technique. Hey! Oh, so he just muscle snatches. Yes, it is. It is Naeem. Right there, you can already tell this dude knows where he's going with his hands. Like, this is no act. And it's funny that, like, it might seem almost pretentious that I say this, but if you watch enough weightlifting and you see someone who's, like, learning or, like, a, a, like, I hate to say it, like a CrossFit class, you know, you have people just kind of like, f kind of figuring it out a little bit. Weightlifters have stepped up to a bar and grabbed a bar so many times. They go through a bunch of checks before they pull the bar off the floor that it's like, you can tell this person has been doing it a while. Look at that. Okay. Even the hair blow, the <sighs> thing, he did that on the platform when he was lifting. Look at how narrow his grip is because of how short he is. Sorry, this is so cool. I think this is a Planet Fitness commercial. What do you do for a living? I lift things up and put them down. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, here's the strength circuit. I lift things up and put them down. <laughs> Over here, uh, I lift things up and put them down. And this is our stretching area. I lift things up. Dun, 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 dun. The only reason I'm laughing is just because it's it's funny, not because it's like, oh, thank God there's a safe space for people to lift where there aren't bodybuilders. Like, yeah, you know, there are bodybuilders that are wicked toxic when they get into the gym. But also I think Planet Fitness is, you know, their whole shtick is to take your money and not actually have you go train and get better and more fit. They, they really pay the $10 fee to have uh, a membership. And then whenever they see that fee, whenever they see that bill come through and they're like, oh, I should probably cancel my membership. Then they think of the guilt of actually canceling a $10 membership. And they say, you know what? If I decide to go this month at all, uh, I'll at least still have my membership. And that goes on and on and on. It's a brilliant business plan, but it's, it's bullshit. We'll do some benches with these guys or what? I don't know. It seems like a lot of weight and not to get hurt. <laughs> oh, there we go. Great technique. It all comes right here. Hey. Oh, she did a squat jerk. Someone was watching the Lu Zhao Jun video. Put work on something other than beach muscles. Squatting is where you gotta be. Got the monolift. 405 with chains. I heard squatting is bad for your knees. This is not going well. Iron Sport Gym, Pennsylvania. Alright, how about some stone lifting, kid? This will make a man out of you. You guys should have an alarm when that happens. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't want to get that big. You guys have like a cardio team? Oh, this is a response to... Um, is this a response to Planet Fitness? What planet am I on? The wrong one. <laughs> Iron Sport Gym. Come to it is. Planet. It is. That's hilarious. All right, that's it. That's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Go to my Patreon if you want to start weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting, other general strength programs there. It also supports the channel. I'll see you on the next one.